Do you remember dying, Gantash? Do I? Yes. And things haven't been quite the same since. No. No, they haven't. I fear. My story doesn't have a happy ending. But this is the path I chose. It's the sacrifice I made. Was a sacrifice we needed to make. If we were to be standing here now in El Torel under the sun. I'm grateful. With this adventure, no matter the cost, what we accomplished, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I honestly don't believe it. And I don't believe that I have to do what I am about to do. Antash, you are broken. back there were terms attached still not a contract I'm still clean I didn't know all I knew is that I was honestly just grateful to have once lived. Because after I came back, the storm no longer shining on me. It felt cold. But I also felt the time running out. I... I cannot rightfully allow you to go on. It's not fair. Except. I do need you to tie up a few loose ends for me. If that's possible. I can do that. I 
have some relics. Some things the city needs back. They deserve it. To renew their faith. The same faith I had in Torm. I'll take out the Helm of Torm Sight, the Golden Torm Amulet, and the Ring, the Torm Ring. I believe High Hall. Deserves these. The people of Elturel will appreciate them, undoubtedly. This. I think you know where this goes. I'll take out the golden Flemin amulet. I'm sure Traxagor would love to hear your story. There are lots of stories to tell, lots of people to tell them too. In a way, we're all defined by the people who we choose to keep close. By the way that we treat them, by the decisions we make for them or against them. If you would allow it, I'd like one more final moment with Torm, and then you do what you must. Please. I'll take a few steps away from him, kind of go through like the, the motions, get out like the alms box, like traditional. <laughs> I'll get on my knees, put my hands together. I'll pray. Just for old time's sake, I'll cast divine intervention. Just for old time's sake. If I could ever pray for a roll, <laughs> it is this roll. I'm gonna do it publicly. But it's it's okay either way, boys. It's okay either way. Do you have your inspiration still? No. Oh. So it's uh what is it, thirteen D, or less? D100. Thirteen or less. Thirteen or less. There's no way. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Out of a hundred! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Uh, I think that's the craziest roll in the entirety of all D and D for us. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna type out. Do you have a specific thought that you're thinking, or like a? Something that you want addressed, or, or are you just requesting an audience? Like, what are you requesting? I'm gonna type it. I just want to see what happens. <sighs> okay. <laughs> the 
effectively destroyed home that you found to tuck away into. Everything's burned in this and all the surrounding buildings. The first thing you hear is like a grinding sound of stone on stone as the broken bricks and rubble start to reform and reshape. The homes that are broken around the one you're in seem to deconstruct and lend their materials to your structure. Gantash with your head down, praying. A light breaks through the sky like a spotlight over the two of you. Buru, you would see this as well at this point. And the structure continues to form to a much greater building than the one that you once stood in. The surrounding area has clean bricks perfectly laid into the ground. And Yol, you watch as the glass shards start to form new windows of stained glass depicting scenes of Mount Celestia. And a new, greater cathedral forms around you. A new high hall. The, for the symbol of Torm adorning the front entryway. And after several minutes, Gantash, you raise your head. And you see that you are now praying on the altar at the front of the cathedral. And a comfortable lounging chair sits behind with a towel draped over it of white and gold trim. That holy light pierces through all the windows. And you just hear one echoing sound through the cathedral. You are ready. I'll get up and turn to Yol. I know on this journey, you found the light, some light. You found light in the darkest place. Don't ever forget that light. It's always within you. Even when you think it's not. Like me. Broken. My old friend. I'll come in for a hug. I'm 
and I'll plunge a dagger in your heart. And I'll just, like a sigh of relief, just like pure peace on his face. As Gantash collapses. When you hit the floor, Lathander's power flowing through Yol's weapon turns your body instantly into dust. From your remains, a blue, wisping soul emerges and flies itself up through the rafters and out of the cathedral doors. Yol, you look on the ground where the dust lay, and in this fresh, red, rolled out carpet, you see a gnarl the image of a gnarled, long-fingered hand burned into the carpet. But the soul leaves free and clear. <laughs> <laughs>